What about PDFs you don't have but would like to find? Let's look in my echolocation group here, fairly small group, and there are some references that I don't have any PDFs for. I'd like EndNote to try and find them. How do I get it to do that? EndNote has a feature called Find Full Text that will let it try to find the PDFs for a record automatically. You don't have to go out and search for each one of them, download it, and import it. And there are some setting in the, settings in the preferences where you can fine-tune how it works to improve your chances of finding that PDF. So I'm going to start by going to my Preferences, again under the Edit menu. On the Macintosh it would be under the EndNote menu. And this time click on Find Full Text. These are the pathways it will look down, look through, to try and find the PDF for me. The Web of Knowledge Full Text Links. Even if you don't have a subscription to Web of Knowledge, it will use those to try and find the public access things. The DOI, the Digital Object Identifier, unique number letter combination assigned by the publisher. If you have PubMed Linkout available to you, you can have it look through that too. The two things that make the biggest difference though on how many PDFs it will find are if you're on campus or on site so that you're IP authenticated. You're coming from a computer that's allowed access to that data. The other thing that can make a big difference is if your organization or campus has an open URL server, put the open URL server path ad address here in this field. Now, how do you tell if you have one? If you do a search on your online databases through the library and you see buttons show up that say something like find it at my school or my links, that's a good indication that you probably have an open URL server. They're sometimes called a links resolver or an SFX server, but you have to find the exact path for that and it won't show up on your screen. Every school is going to have a different one. So talk to your library or check the library website for any EndNote support. Often schools will put EndNote support pages up where they'll put up things that are unique to the school, like the open URL address for the school. Copy it in here and EndNote will be able to work with it. If you have to log in when you try to use one of those links, you can also log in or authenticate from within EndNote by putting the authentication page address in the bottom line. I don't have an open URL server. I'm not on a campus, so I'm just going to have to get what's public access. I click on the OK button to close and save the changes. And now I'm going to highlight the four references I wanted to try and find PDFs for and click on this button, Find Full Text. We do put up a notice Please obey the copyright rules and regulations and laws of your organization, campus, or country. And this applies to everything having to do with PDFs in EndNote or any other document. Please obey the laws. I click on OK, and over in my Groups panel, let me modify a little bit here. The Find Full Text group set is now showing PDFs it's still looking for, and now that disappeared. How many PDFs that I'd selected it found, how many it only found a URL for, and how many it found nothing for. It's not going to find everything. For those where it found the PDF, it has attached the PDF to the record automatically. Oh, and I forgot to point out that, as I said, when we imported that folder of PDFs, it created a group set for the folder name and created groups underneath it for the folders. So these, re these PDFs and these references are automatically in more than one group now. They're in the folder it created during the import, and they're also in the folders where those references originally existed like echolocation or avian intelligence. The same reference can be in as many groups as you want. So those are ways you can 
get PDFs and references into your library, importing from online, importing PDFs.